Why, hello there. It's MTG Joe. You might remember me from such mythic invitational qualifiers like Man Throws Cleave on Creature uh, in Gruel, Man Throws Cleave on Creature in Mono Red. Um, and today we are going to be playing some Historic and we are going to be putting our cleaves away for uh, more of a horn, a herald's horn if you may. A goblin tribal, Muxus and friends. Uh, this is the only deck that in Historic that's been working for me for the last couple days, so rolling with what got me to Mythic. Uh, apologize if I've been a little away from the stream and YouTube videos. I got COVID vaccine and been feeling kind of shitty. Um, so kind of back to 100% now, so glad to be here, glad to be playing in the MIQ. Um, as always with these sessions, I'll usually be a little less talkative than my normal video. Um, in part just because they tend to be a little bit more thought invoking um, but if you do have any questions you can always ask in the YouTube comments or uh, after each of the matches um, so the format here it is historic it is um, basically if you get seven wins you get to go to day two uh, if you get to day two and you get seven wins you get invited to the mythic invitational qualifier um, which is a awesome uh, kind of tournament or sorry you get invited to mythic invitational um, so we are going to jam some games today, see how it goes. Uh, two of the three last constructed I've made day two, so hoping for the same. Um, so the deck itself, uh, it is pretty much your standard goblins list. We are going the Iron Craig feed route. There's a lot of sack decks, so this allows us to as early as turn three. So you have turn three Muxus either through Skurg Prospector, Wily Goblin, and three lands. Um, you also have the ability with Phyrexian Tower to generate some extra mana. You also have it with any combination of Skurg Prospector, um, another Goblin, and Iron Craig Feet will allow you to mux this. So there's a few ways around it. We are playing a Trash Master main to deal with artifacts. Uh, some decks are playing Cage main, um, but also gets rid of Witch's Oven. Um, but other than the deck, we are just going very linear, trying to kill them. It's basically a Krenko deck hidden behind the Muxus that helps you find them. We are on Snowlands because we do have Frostbites in the side. Um, Post-board, my game plan is to become more of an interactive mid-range deck. Um, so kind of scale back less on the combo in some cases. So against Auras, we want all our removal. Versus Sack, we bring in our removal, our Crater Makers. And then just kind of go more value at, uh, added. So I have Herald's Horn and Ringleader, both which provide us uh, card advantage. And then you just grind them out with an aggro game plan. People bring in Cages, which probably aren't the most useful if you take out some number of Muxus or you kind of get rid of some of the combo and you can go from there. And the Cronin War also helps for the Auras matchup. So let's go jump into it and see how it goes. Thank you, Todd. Good luck as well. What did you end up settling on for today? So probably Auras is the matchup I want to least play against. Uh, it tends to be... Actually, I forgot to put Cardboard Live on. It tends to be the most difficult to play around. Play first. Sounds fine. Okay, so. Whoa. Mouse was sticking there. No companion, so probably not sack. Crawling Barons. Opponent definitely has my interest. So we'll probably go Chieftain here. So this could be Colorless Control. It is. So against Colorless Control, you want to kill them as fast as possible. And this hand is actually really well suited because they can do like Cage Main. So here I'm going to go... I think we're just going to do this. So next turn, I could have five mana. I think we just want to push as much damage as possible. This is generally a pretty favored matchup. <clears throat> okay, so they are getting closer to Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could see Ugin next turn, so a little bit of 
scariness. So, no Ugin one time. Okay, that bodes well. Dark Hunter, thank you, thank you. This could be Platinum Angel. So, we'll bring in a Braids for sure. Oh, they got Ratchet Bomb. That's too slow, though. They could do that for the tokens, but we'll just attack in. Or we can just mux this. I think we just attack in. No sense in making tokens here. They have the ratchet bomb, but it won't do enough. What you got, opponent? Easy game. Good start, good start. Um, so in this matchup, I think I'm actually going to be off the Muxus. We'll bring in the Herald's Horn. We'll bring in the Abrades. And we'll bring in the Ringleaders. Actually, that seems pretty good as well. Gonna get rid of the matron. They can really easily get cage. So I think just going kind of more aggressively slanted is good. Can play one Muxus. Do we want two Muxus? Actually, Wily seems pretty bad because of Karn, you can't sack the treasure tokens. Lorenzo, thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's run it like that. I think we just want to be aggressive here. Having answers to Platinum Angel is good, but we can just go with kind of a linear plan. Sounds fine. Snoop into Chieftain. Probably go Snoop into War Chief because then it could potentially allow us to play. Well, there's a cost reduction on it as well. We'll see. We might just play off the top as well. If they go Karn, we are going to go Chieftain because it allows us to attack for three. The second idol. Okay, well, they got all the mana in the world. I'm going to continue to play off the top of my library. Set a stop. So one thing to always remember is set a stop because if you hit a Cranko off the top, you can activate it. Golos is annoying. Let's get some World Tree or Cataracts. The annoying thing is I don't have double red. Oh, that is such a good draw. Um. 
I think we're just going to kill this. I think at this point we sack the snoop. That was such a good draw. If they go Ugin, if they minus, I can sack some stuff. Okay, they go Karn here. Let's see what they get. Skyship Sovereign. You know what? Trashy trashy boy did what he needed to do. So we do this. We do this. That's six, eight, eleven. Bye friends. Bye friend. Easy one, oh. All right, that if that's an indication how the rest of the day will be going, I will be happy. Let's update the record. Get the deck list on screen for a sec. I'm just going to take like a minute or two between games just to regain thoughts. That was an easy game. I'm glad the first one kind of goes that way. This was already a better uh, experience than my last one where we went 0-3 drop. Actually, we are going, so normally I don't do this as often, but during the tournament, I just want to reset each time. How's everybody doing today? What are you excited about for Strixhaven? We should be in early access. I think it's this Thursday, actually. So if you do have any deck lists you'd like to see, um, you can drop it in the Discord that we have, or you can um, dro like drop a link on YouTube. I'll try to play as many viewer decks this time because I haven't had a lot of chance to brew. Let's go Gabba Gabba Goo. Can we have seven colorless opponents? Next round. La Pipinecchia. Yorian. I think we keep this against Yorian. Not quite turn three, but Snoop can help us get some accrued card advantage. Okay, so this is the Abzan Yorian. So this matchup's probably pretty rough. No counters out of them, but they have Yasharn, and they have a lot of removal in this matchup. So this is probably a card value. The thing is they have answers as well to with binding of the old gods. Okay, they have tome, that's fine. So they usually play four extinction event main, two Elspeth Conquer, three, two or three, three Elspeth Conquer's death, four bindings. Okay, so they're either digging for a land or they're digging for some removal.
They play like four Wall of Blossoms, four Knight of Autumns. So like some of our kind of um, adventure or our card advantage stuff, like the Horns, aren't that great in this matchup. They have a bunch of different ways to deal with it. This kind of slows me down a little. Hey, that's a great one. One, two, three, four, five. Nah. So st setting a stop in my upkeep so I can Krenko again. So here, even if they have Extinction Event, they take my... They take Odd, is my guess. Just because it's a lot more value. And then I just drop the Krenko and make a bunch of tokens again. Opponent's playing from behind here. See what they do. Because a singular removal doesn't really help them here. I can easily drop Muxus as well or the Cranko. Okay, so that's fine. I think we're just passing. They don't have a clear board wipe. They had the five life, so there's no point of gaining. Even if they have Shadow's Verdict, it doesn't do enough. own opponent. Baffling end. It's fine. So you basically are free mana. One, two, three, five. So let's try to mux this here. So you usually sack your Cranko because if you find another Cranko, they're legendary. We have a couple spins with Muxus here. Like so. Easy game. All right, so this matchup they have cages. What are their creatures? Your Sharn, Ball. So I think we do want the Ringleaders. Can get rid of the Trash Master. Bring in the Herald's Horn. I think we are 
Trimming up. I think we just trim Iron Craigs. I just want to go aggressive. Two cuts. So if they have a Charlie, trim just a Matron. Trim a Muxus. Well, Muxus lets me rebuild. If they have Cage, then it's whatever. I can do this. I can keep this in. It's another Lord at the worst case. If they bring in Cage, it's fine. Maybe just trim on a Wily. I think we just continue to be. Yeah. Well, we did hit double Cranko. We could have always just uh, hit the single one and then another Lord. Sansa, nope. This hand is very good. I think I want the lands. Just because the Skirk's not guaranteed. If they go wall, it's not that great. Kind of soaks up some damage. Yeah. This hand's kind of slow. Alright, maybe we shouldn't have kept all the lines. So they can name Muxus. See, I'd actually name Krenko. You're more likely to lose. Oh, they didn't select. Oh, they messed up. Opponent messed up. So this is pretty bad if they have extinction event here. So I can do that. That's not enough. So opponents spent their turn three mana to look through our deck and look at our hand. Remember folks, you gotta select the cards. Shame concede. doing in chat while opponents uh, thinking this line through this doesn't seem like a terrible matchup for them Yorian to hand there goes Krenko let me highlight this let me see if they take this Try to go wide here. Aljez Sebastian, thank you for the follow. How's it going? 
So even with the Yori in here, they're dead. We died to extinction event. Yahini's expertise. Well, you got me. Kind of feel silly sacking the token here. Do my turn here. Land. 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 Snoop Dogg. Okay, so they might be preoccupied with answering my board, but I have the land anyways. Just no cage. Just no cage. Snoop's fine. That's pretty aggressive. Um, I think we're doing this. Yellow Muxus. Pretty bad. We hit him for four. We needed one more power. They might have Mythos here. Okay, that buys him a turn. Chieftain's good here. Another Muxus is good. Ringleader is good. Herald's Horn's not bad. Would have preferred Ringleader because it puts the cards to our hand, but we, they have us on a three turn clock. Sharn's a big boy. Nothing to come back. Need this Herald's Horn to hit this turn. That's not it. So double removal or a sweeper gets us. We got a turn, folks. Got a turn. Can I have some gasoline? Nope. You can have lions. Um, I think we're just running it back. I think I actually want another matron here. Matron just getting ringleader sounds good.
That Yahini's kicked our ass. this hand, but let's go. It's slow. We want to be putting some pressure on them. This lets them set up like a Walla Blossom on two that we can't attack through. Hey Aljaz, how's it going? That game we are like a spell away. Wily's actually nice. So Wily lets me go Chieftain into both of these because this costs two, this costs three. If we hit a land. So I still think we go Chieftain first. Oh, they hit their one of authority. That's a good one versus. So I'm gonna do this. This lets me potentially cast two spells in a turn. It slows us down a turn, just with authority of the consoles. Them. The 80 card deck having like the main haymaker against you is always an incredibly frustrating feeling. Because I think they only play one. Okay, so they likely take Ringleader. Let me highlight Trash Master. See if they take that. Opponent knows what they're doing. Um, I'm doing this to play around extinction event. No Yahinis. And like I said, we gotta keep playing out the stuff. Yeah, it's this authority is single like if we're likely to lose this game now just because of authority. If they have Yahinis, Extinction, Extinction name even, yeah. So I'm not gonna win through another sweeper. So we gotta play it out like this. It's gained them. Yeah, we lost. Talk about hands. Authority, Thoughtseize, two extinction events. Did I get a land? Heralda's Horn. Goblinos. I'm super excited for the Binding or Elspeth Conquers, yeah. Keep chipping away. Okay, that's pretty good. So the Yorian here. 
They know we have the Luxus. So this turn's probably Cranko. I just need to get more on the board. Like they gain the life, but Spining hits me again. A land's actually not bad. Three. Can play this out. Try to get Muxus. Might be the play. Because Muxus can attack through this Yorian. His deck's basically all removal. So this authority is stopping all our like haste interaction. Actually, that's not bad. Because this gives us kind of two ways out. Can also play this, that's two, that costs four, so I can sack the matron. They cycle. Uh, when a one mana card beats your entire existence. So now I need to find our graveyard doesn't matter and the chance they have like scavenging ooze, it's less creatures for them to gain life. Another Muxus. We're just going to keep throwing Muxus at them. Hey, Ricky Fav, how's it going? So this way, if they answer our board, we have another Muxus. Could have got a Lord there, which might have been right. Extinction event isn't great either way here. Conquer's death doesn't do a huge amount. I could also just start pumping with Castle Unbreath. We'll see what we have on top. because I have enough for this. Yeah, that's fine. So we're removal for that. If I war chief. Horn. Oh, they go four three. Okay, so if I do this, I have enough for Muxus post combat. Which I think I like.
not great. Not great at all. Hitting a bunch of lions. So I can make five tokens. They gain five life. Could also just attack and pump. That leaves me dead to any removal spell. Just because this comes into play tapped. Jesus. One, two, three, four. So I can do double pump. They have to block the Muxus here. I have no other plays, so YOLO. Extinction vents, they're out. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Can we like draw a creature? Thank you. This opponent has had a hell of a draw. Yarshin. Unless they have some removal, it's not enough. Can I get a Lord? Okay, so this War Chief can trade with Yarshin. to do the double pump here. All right, you got one draw opponent. 80 cards, but let's put all the extinction events. This was a good game though. That was actually a very good game. Like, credit due. They had the answers. But 2-0! 2-0! Let's fucking go. Give me one second and we will switch it up. Whew, that one took a bit of thinking. That's what I find with that Abzan deck. I was testing it and I was considering it for the tournament, but um, you end up losing to yourself. Thanks, Drev. So, like, the first match was kind of an auto win against Colorless. That second match was earned.
I like saying all right. Uh, let's go next one in. We are quarter of the way there. Yeah, I think it's just, so when authority's out, you generally don't want to cranko because that's how they get a lot of insulation, especially because they have sweepers to catch up. It's different if you're playing against like a creature deck that doesn't have sweepers and they bring in authorities. Um, you could generally kind of play around that. But the last thing you want to do is give them 10 life. Okay, that's not a keep. Okay. This hand's slow. This matchup's pretty bad, so. And they're on the play. They go cat of murderous rider, we're dead. And trail. If we can get uninterrupted, the way to win this matchup is to go wide. We can see a turn for Corvold here. Would have really liked you last turn. Fatal push. Not good, not good. Could be fatal push, could just be them trying to draw cards, but I think it's fatal push. No, no fatal push. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. MFD chill, thank you for the follow. Ah, shit. Shit, son. Our hand was too slow. <sighs> this stupid tower. Yeah. I don't think we win this. One, two, three, sack. They sack the cat. Ah, we're dead. What am I supposed to do there? Um, okay, so I usually cut the Skirks, the Wileys. I cut two Matrons. I bring in these. I bring in the Abrades. I bring in the Ringleaders. I bring in the Herald's Horn. I cut these. Um, and I bring Crater Maker. I think we are still keeping Muxus. Don't want the Chain Whirler here. Probably not. So there's some consideration to playing Iron Craig Feet still in the deck. But I find, like, when I bet this matchup, you need the removal. You can't have Mayhem Devil live. <sighs> Could we have a hand where I don't have to maul? Okay, sounds good. Come on. One more land. Fuck it. Take my Muxus. Take my Muxus. Take my Muxus. Ring leader is probably more value in this matchup. Could I have a lion, please? Jesus, and this is gonna be cat. Fucking hell. I hate this deck so much. It's such a stupid deck. Ah. Didn't even hit the land, so I can't even frostbite when they have. Okay, so they missed the land.
I'm not gonna be the devil at this point. I need to just try to high roll, so. Doing this before the trigger comes on the stack so they don't get the value. Keep it on top, so that's probably either a red land. It's most likely a red land. Can I have a land? Gonna give this one more turn and then we're just gonna call it. If they play devil, then I'm just gonna concede. James. Land. Jesus Christ. It's like that Abzan game that we just played, it was long, there was a lot of back and forth, there was decision made, and then you get games like this where you're in, you've are you drawn every three and four drop in your deck, but not a third land. Holy shit. I'm actually not going to attack here. The reason being, they would get a free trigger. And I don't want them to find a line. They're also missing line drops. This is Big Baby Jengs. Okay, well. I'm just going to activate this now. Pulse there. What's their sack outlet? Do they draw oven? Of course they drew oven. Because why wouldn't they draw oven? So this line, Twelve Fingers, thank you for the follow, appreciate the support. So either like I take them off this, if they have, yeah we're 2-0 so far but we've like just not drawn well this game. I think we just need to YOLO No Mayhem. Fatal push, watch. Opponent had the nuts game one. Fucking hell. And game two, we went four or five turns without drawing a third land. All right, folks, we're going home. We're going home. Well, that was a very unimpressive game. Like, I'm fine to lose games, but we didn't get to play that game. We give the client a quick reset. Like, that matchup's hard, don't get me wrong, but our hand had potential. Give me more colorless streamers. All right. Like, we had the line, but they basically had an answer at every step and drew two ovens and they're like top 10 cards, especially and cat oven on one. Okay, this hand is gas. We are playing against the Grand Master Merle. Well, 
opponent is of the fun variety. I'm gonna be honest, Twilfing, I've never watched Trailer Park Boys. So forgive me if I miss anything. Okay, so they're on the priest version. So this is Coco, probably Citadel, land. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So I can go get Muxus. If they have claim, then it gets a bit awkward. I think we're just doing this line. So I can sack, 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 make this, but I think we wait a turn and hope they don't have claim. So this is likely Rakdos sack. Then hitting all lands is pretty sweet. One, two, three, four, five. I think this turn is just go get Muxus. No attacks here, so we really just don't want them to have a devil. If we can dodge devil for the turn, then we're okay. Otherwise, we do need to hit a land. I think it was kind of rough. It's, it's iffy. This is a good call to take. They did have a opportunity. Like, they put it on us to realize with Skirt Prospector that you have to sack there running into back-to-back -back sack decks. And I'd argue this version's probably worse for us just because of, um, like they have the priest with Mayhem Devil. Okay, so Ghost Rider's fine. Not too worried about that. you no fatal push uh, they're gonna have devil they're gonna have devil aren't they no devil reaper that's fine So if I do this, I'm one short. Okay, so we have two lines here. I can do this, but then I have to sack my board to make Krenko, so. YOLO Muxus. Not a bad flip. So one, two, three. So one. I think we win. We make tokens. One, two, doing this all now without a devil. Two. 
to... I guess the triple Muxus hand gets you there sometimes. Okay, so they have to block, they have to block. I think this is an all attack line. Because this is 20, yeah. All right, triple Muxus with a Lord. Um, so against this version, I think I like Chain Whirler. They had the Stitchers in there. And I think we just do a similar plan. Go with the Frostbites, go with the Ringleaders, go with the Horns. Um, we do dilute our deck a bit. But I am concerned just being able to... I, I think we need to interact with them though. Can trim two of these. Trim three of these. Probably just trim the matron. All right. That was a good steal. We stole that game. This hand is not good. This hand is good. Ooh, this is an interesting line. I think we... I think we put away a land. Because this can help me get to this at least. And I want an answer for like a priest. Draw a six drop instead of a line. So best is they go priest here, go priest, go priest. Don't even give them a chance here. Turn two butcher on the plays, pretty back breaking. Okay, can I get a line please? Priesty. So I get blown out by claim here. I think we're just doing this. This is gonna be another game where we just don't draw our third land ever. This basically will give us the cost reduction we need. So if we draw a land, we're decently placed. I can also just go another Herald Swarm, which honestly isn't a terrible idea for another creature. If the priest is attacking, we're in a good spot. If they ever draw a cat, we're... We will take the lands. So the decision here, I can get the haste. This plays worse if they have thing. This means if I hit land, or at the very worst, we get two creatures off the top and then it can help us dig for a land. So this insulates if our top card is a goblin. The no sack there might mean they have... Okay, so they do have witches. So this is like a bit of a dated list. You don't see witches vengeance in the side too often anymore. No Croxa yet is good. No, um, that artifact dude, the three two that comes back from the graveyard. They got the cat. 
land, land, land. I think we're just killing the priest. Let's see what they do here. Needed a land there. Land would have let us do this. Gets us around blockers, would have let us muxus. Probably keep it in the yard. I don't. I think they're the upside of drawing a devil. It's more impactful. I think we're just taking the one here. My guess is this is either Fatal Push or Claim. Perfect. Let's go big. Trash Master. It's good for next turn. So they get the block here, that's fine. We need to push damage through. Have they hit a devil yet? Okay, so they still have four devils in their deck. If we do manage Okay, so we need to dodge devil one time. push okay get me for two you sack there Let's see what we got can I have lions land okay so we go so you're actually free so let's go you Ah, uh, shouldn't have done that. I can't haste out Krenko stuff.
So they get me there. I guess I should have attacked first. We missed out on some damage. This goes. They got one turn here. The nice thing is these. That's. I think that's wrong. Because the way you try to win this is through devil. Priest. These horns, they drew us there. It's actually pretty nice as well. Horns are busted. Come on, opponent. Come on, opponent. Salty, salty opponent. Opponent milled a lot of lions too. Thirteen lions, they're probably playing eighteen to twenty one lions. How are you this salty in the MIQ? Like just take the L. Yeah, but like like, I was pissed the last game. What do you do? Queue up the next one, right? Like, variance is gonna happen. Nah, he's a cat player. He can't play this many matches that quick. But in response, I sacrifice my cat. All right, nice recovery there. Let's update the record. So at the very least, if I can get six wins, I don't have to worry about top 1200, I don't believe, which in itself is such a mental break, um, having to like grind at the end of the month. So we're getting 600 gems, eight. So at the very least, we want three more wins. Three and two. Let's restart the client. Pop in for another one. I think I like that board plan. I think going with that it's too much liability, I think, to have, um, I guess it's iffy, because, like, when you think about it, this protects us against claim, but against most of the Jun decks, they're only playing three claims anyways. Like, this protects us against claim, but then also triggers Mayhem Devil. It allows us for more explosive kind of turns than the Wily, but Wily's more stable in terms of finding us the mana. Um, so 
when I'm streaming, Arena starts to lag. So Arena Client itself starts to lag and give you like weird sound bugs and stuff like that when you hit like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I've had it in the past where I've had matches in the MIQ where the, the client froze or I had to reset and I missed out on a turn or like a draw step or a land. I just, everybody's on sac. Okay, well, we have a very clear plan here. It is Matron into Muxus into Iron Craig Feet. So I prefer to do it to be safe. Is this burn? Okay, burn. Also a pretty scary matchup, to be honest. Uh, they have a lot of ways to interact with our creatures and they pressure our life total. Still better than sack. I will trade Bowmat for the Goblin Matron. You. <laughs> so it, for me, it's just like, I'll, I'll reset it. It takes literally 30 seconds while I update like the stream title, just so it doesn't crash. Uh, I was very, very upset the time it happened. Cause like here, like you miss a turn at times. It's, if it's the ladder or whatever, you just go and, you know, queue up another match. It's not the end of the world. But here you're only given really two losses. The third you're out. If they attack with these, I just take it, I think. That's fine. Use your removal. So they're on Pillar of Flame, so they're probably on Light Up the Stage as well. Yeah. No lands, no lands. Okay, so Shock's kind of annoying. Okay. So we could potentially win this turn. YOLO! Let's win. You're not a win. Can they beat me next turn? Pillar, pillar. Okay, so pillar, pillar, that's, f or pillar shock, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If I do this, they have to keep some removal back. They have to basically use these shocks. We needed a better uh, Muxus flip there. Even a Cranko there would have been game breaking. We know we're not drawing a land next turn. Yeah, so here they go like that. They go shock. And then they attack in, they pop Bowmat. Yeah, that was shitty. Um, I can do this, I can do this. If they attack, they have to keep something back. If I do this, that's three. Yeah, because this lets them deal two to something. So they deal two to Matron. Matron gets another Muxus. It's probably my line. It's gonna be a Chain Whirler matchup. I'm 
not playing this out yet because I don't want him to hit it with the Lava Mancer. They probably just take this. If they're smart, they just take this. Yeah. At this point, I'm just playing for them to make a mistake. We needed that Muxus to hit, it didn't. I think the safest line for them is Lava Mancer, my Skurg Prospector. Because that lets me Muxus next turn. Just going face. I guess face face works as well. Let's see what they have. Yeah, if they just throw everything at me. I mean, if you draw three lands and then nothing but burn spells as well, it's probably pretty good. Um, I think we're going to get rid of Wily here, get rid of you. They're on burn, so they probably bring in some number. Let's bring in the horns. I think two horns. They probably have a braid as well. Problem is, like, they have so much removal to get rid of my Krankos as well. And I just don't really get to untap with these. Do I want a ringleader? I think we go down a Muxus, play one ringleader. Or keep the Muxus, play two ringleaders. The problem is like our ringleaders a four mana you know, draw some cards, but it's still just too toughness. So it makes it difficult to actually be able to, um, to tack in. Yeah. In that hand, if we hit a Muxus, we win, I think. All right. Uh, okay, sounds pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Kill their like soul scar mage or whatever their stupid one drop is. I want to do this. So the choice here, I could play this out. It dies like 99% of the time. Yeah, I think we still do this. Okay, line on top's good. We have our turn kind of played out. And this kind of forces them to kill Snoop just because they're getting, like, we're getting value out of it. Oh, that's an easier braid target. I'm actually just going to do this now. This turns on um, Spectacle by itself, so light up the stage, all those other cards. Shock. Let's draw some cards. Not great, but decent.
So next turn I can do both of these, which is pretty nice. Also have the option of just like Chieftain and hold up Frostbite. So we do have options. This could just be like Pillar of Flame. That's fine. Ooh, Noxus is nice. Um, I think we're going to do this because if I draw a land, I get to Muxus next turn. Yeah. You got to figure at this point, they've missed lands, so they're going to have a lot of these burn style effects. Ah, they hit Cage. Lucky duck. One turn, no burn spell. One turn, no burn spell. One turn, no burn spell. Yeah, like, we're still getting in chip damage. We do have to worry that they can do something like get to Lava Runner Wizard's Lightning. Again, like 13 cards, three shocks. Shuffler. Um, We're just saying go. Let's let them react. I could attack in for three here. But I think I prefer just doing this. Gives me another blocker. Because now I can do this. have a hard time so they stumbled a bit on lands and with the cages like this is why so i think i'm going to turn on a muxus if they have cage just play more to the board early crater maker in here i think it's just another card that trades um i don't love matron i think i like the other ringleader just play it out like this Crater Maker is decent because it's a like I can block, sack it, and kill something else. They're on the play. Can't keep that. No. Oh. Yolo time. No removal, scary. Yeah, it's terrifying. That's scary. Light up the stage. I need to control their damage output. I don't expect any of my things to live, so. Yeah. All right, well, hope for the best. We're dead here. I'm not going to be able to string together. They had the pressure. Thanks, Drive. Have a good day.
Like, there's no way they don't have just more removal. Their light up the stage just help them hit line drops. They're probably gonna do this on their turn. They have like Polara Flame. Yeah, they got runes. I'm dead. We are dead. This one stings. Take four. This just blows up whatever I do. This matchup's really hard from Goblin's player. You can't really establish a board. All right, we gotta go perfect now on the way out. When you're paying three mana and they're paying one mana to remove, like that deck is applying a good amount of pressure on you, so. Still have to block. Oh, no, 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 no. No ladder play, no ladder play. All right, four O time, four O time, or at least three, three one. Three wins at least. Hey, Riley. Uh, we are 3 1. We just took a loss to burn, so we're 3 2. So we are do or die mode now. How's everything going with yourself? Play first. Not a keep. If this was a mountain, I'd keep, but I don't think we can keep. Oh, come on! Well, good luck nonetheless. Hope you get there. Are you on the Coco version or the um, Corvold, like, trail version? Tranquil think it could be an older version of Sack. Oh, this is cycling. Okay, we need to go quick. So I'm gonna sack one of these. They don't really have removal. Come on, one land, one land, one land, one land. Are you freaking kidding me? Probably dead here. Malta five. Mm -hmm. 
double Dranith is also going to put me under a lot of pressure. Because now they can attack in as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus Christ. Hand was fine if we would have not gotten swelteringed. Okay. Do we survive a turn? Chain Whirler. So they have the Sweltering. They probably bring in Anger. Um, get rid of two Matrons. Get rid of Wily here. Trim an Iron Craig. Probably two Herald's Horns. Actually, I don't. Do I want Herald's Horn? I don't think I want Herald's Horn. This matchup's usually going to go quick. Um, two cuts, two cuts. War Chief. Because they make a lot of, like, tokens with the Valiant. I think we just cut that. Just say YOLO. Not like this, not to Zenith Flare. Oh, we gotta click Muxus. I'm cycling that's not too bad. The braid's actually pretty nice as well. So I play the line here, that gives me five total mana. We got fox, so yeah, I think we're gonna kill the fox here. That's actually perfect. So I can kill the fox or I can just set up a Muxus. I think we just kill the fox here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Could have been right with Muxus. Because they'd have to sweltering sums there. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, sweet. Well, that works. All right, opponent, can you survive?
Easy game. This matchup very much is just going to be disregard your opponent. Um, I honestly don't think I want the Trash Master. Let's play Wily. Let's go from there. They could have cage. If they have cage, they have cage. I can't do anything about that. I think we're just gonna... Oh, we have a braids. So close. So I can keep this hand, hope we draw an untapped land, and then we're pretty much gas. But I think we need to mulligan. Okay, this hand's good. I'm gonna put ringleader back. Crank goes the way we win. Oh, this is looking like a curve. One land? Play Fox. Play Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, curves. Okay, so we know that there's land on top so like we're testing them to see if they're gonna have a sweeper on three I mean, now, like, we, we try. Like, when you have the Snoop with Cranko on top, you have to do it. Just, if they don't have a sweeper here, they're dead. They're dead. So now we're probably dead. That was a chance we took. If they didn't have it, they're dead. If they have it, they're alive. Sweet. We're not going to beat another sweeper. So they hit me for four. I go to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can put me down to one. They have a sweeper anyways. I think we just need to, to thread in. If they have two sweepers in the game, they have two sweepers. This matchup is very much a race. They've cut me off my Muxus draw. So I don't think this is a sweeper, otherwise they would have played it already. This could be fight as one. Xena Flare. That's pretty good for us. So eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Because I, I need to keep one back in case they have another um, Zenith Flare. I'm going to keep two back just to be safe. If 
Again, I lose the sweeper. An important thing with playing aggro sometimes is just realizing like you're not going to beat certain things. So if your opponent has it, they have it, you can't do anything about it. Another Zenith Flare puts them to 14. I have 8, 10, 14. So they have to keep back the hollow one. I abrade it, they're dead. No cycle. So I probably just make the tokens attack in. No, they took my Lord off. No, I forgot to activate. Damn it. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. They have land Zenith Flare, I'm dead now. Tell me you have another Zenith Flare. Fucking hell! Three Zenith Flares in your top 20 cards. Don't think we play that any different. The tokens didn't have haste though. They killed my thing. Unless I'm missing from the turn. Cause I cast Cranko. Yeah, I could have just attacked, you're right. I didn't have to make the tokens. That's 10, 14. Yeah, good call. I lost that. Thanks, Kev. 3-3. Three, three. Not great. Frustrating. That's our daily deal. Bronto. Some good playables. Ah, that's frustrating. We did have lethal. Oh well, live and learn. Also could only play around so many uh, Zenith Flares. Let's drop a raid. Appreciate everyone hanging out. I'm gonna go check out Todd. He's also playing in the MIQ. Appreciate everyone's support. Have a great one and stay safe out there. Hope to catch you next time.